Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and to another design video. In this video, you'll see how to design this simple torsion spring using part design on FreeCAD. I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And now let's see how to design this simple model using part design. Let's go. As always here, we need to create a new document. To do that, just click on this icon here. And now as you can see, we have two documents. We have this new document here. We can save this, just click on this icon. Uh, let's say there's torsion spring here. I say yes. And uh, next, change your paint to Parzain from our paint solitaire. Okay. And uh, next, what we'll do is to create a new body. As you can see, if we go to the model table, we don't have any object here. Create a new body. And now, as you can see, we have this. And the next thing to do is to create a new sketch. We'll use this sketch to form this first salt here, the spring here. Let's go to our model and next create a new sketch. For this sketch here, let's select axi plane. Select axi plane. And next go to sketch drums and select cycle from sketch workbench. And now just click on this vertical axis and draw this small cycle. And next click here and select constraint diameter. For this cycle, we'll set a diameter of two millimeters. Okay, and now just zoom in, select this will here, constraint vertical, distance. And I'll just click in this origin point, and now in the center point. And the length here will set five millimeters, set five here, and enter. And it's all for this sketch here. Now skip two times, and we'll have this. Okay, now that we have this sketch here, let's use this sketch to create a salt. To do that, we need to go to the model tip and select this sketch, or we can select this sketch here in the 3D view, like this. And next, you use this tool here, Helix tool. Just click here. And what you need to do first is to change the axis. What you'll do here is to change the axis to X. So just click here and select this option. Press home. And as you can see, now we have this. Let's zoom in. Okay, now for example, let's change the mode here. Just click here and as you can see, we have these all options to create our helix, to create our spring, okay? For example, let's select this last option, head turns and growth, okay? And next here, the height we can set, let's set, for example, 15. And the turns here, let's set 5.25. As you can see, we have this. And now what we'll do is to click OK. It's all OK. Click OK. And we have this, as you can see. OK, the next thing to do is to create this part here. And this part to do this is very simple. What you need to do is to select this face here and use the pad tool. Just click here. And next, for example, let's change length here to 20 millimeters and enter. And we have this, as you can see. Let's rotate this model and select this face here and do the same. Click on Pad tool. And let's change the length to 20 and enter. And we have this, as you can see. Okay, the next step now is to create this part here, this part here. To do this, we'll use this tool, strip tool. To use this tool here, first we need to sketch. We need a profile sketch and a path sketch. So let's do that. Go to our model. And what we do now, now we create a sketch. The sketch here will be a profile sketch. Let's select exit plane here. And now just zoom in. And let's select, for example, polling tool. And let's draw a horizontal line in this way. And next, press um, two times and create this arc. Now click on this origin point, And we have this, as you can see. Now escape. OK, and next, select this point here. And now this horizontal axis. And use this constraint here to constrain this point. OK, and next, you will set the size of this sketch here. First, we'll select constraint distance, and for this line here, we'll set 5 millimeters. Next, we'll select constraint radius option, and we set the radius of 2 millimeters for this arc. And now, skip two times, and we have this. The next step now is to move the sketch to this 
to the center of this face here. To do that, we need to use a tool called Attachment Editor. Just click here on the model tip, select this sketch, then click on mouse and select this option, Attachment Editor. And next, just click here in this button and select this face here. Okay, as you can see, we have this. Now we need to center this point here of this arc here in the center of this circular face. So what do you do? We need to select this option, Initial to Entry, and now we have this. Let's zoom in. And what you need to do now is to rotate this. To do that, we need to scroll down here and go to Attachment of Set. And now we go to Under Rotation Axis. For example, if we change here, okay, we'll change the rotation in the X axis. For example, let's, ch let's change here to 90 degrees and see what happens. As you can see, we have this. Okay, let's scroll up and okay. Now, if we see this, okay, and next we need a profile sketch. We can go to this active helix here and click here in this arrow and create a copy of the sketch. Control C and use the region solutions and now Control V. Now, space bar on this sketch here to make it visible. And now let's drag this sketch into this body and now double click here. What you'll do now is to change this dimension here, we need to remove this dimension. Select this dimension and delete. Okay, now select the center point and now this origin point and use this tool here to make it constant. And now I have this, skip two times. Select model, now select this sketch here and let's change the attachment of this sketch. Select the attachment the detail and now what you do, we select this line here and next inertia 200 first you need to click in this button and next select this line here and now we have this as you can see we have this cycle and this point here let's click ok and we have this now let's rename these two sketches here for example this sketch we need to click on mouse and select the rename option this sketch here will be a profile sketch and this sketch here will be a perf sketch Okay, now we have this. Now that we have these two sketches here, we can create our salt using the sweep tool, additive pipe tool. What you need to do first is to select the profile sketch and then additive pipe tool. And now we just click on this object button and now we select the perf sketch, this sketch here. And okay. And we have this as you can see. Next, what we'll do is to repeat the process that we use it to create this part here, but now here in this location. So what you can do is to click here and create a copy of these two sketches here. Select these two sketches and now Control C and select this option. Use original selections and now Control V. And as you can see, we have this. Now let's select these two sketches and drag these two sketches into this body and now space bar to make it visible. And uh, next what we'll do is to change the attachment of these two sketches. So what do you do? First you select the buff sketch and we go to right click on mouse and we go to attachment editor. What do you do now? Now we click in this button and we need to select this face here. Initial two and two again and now what do you do? We scroll down here and we go to the x axis. And for example, let's set minus 90 degrees and we have this. Let's also rotate in the y axis. No, should be in the z axis. Okay, like in this way. Let's set 108 here. Oh, sorry, must be in this initial to entry. Okay, it's now okay. Just click OK and we have this. Next, let's change the attachment of this profile sketch. Then click on mouse and select attachment editor. Next, click here and now in the line and click OK. Now we have this. Now we can create our salt. What do you do? We select the profile sketch and now we go to Additive Pipe Tool. We click in this button to select the perf sketch and now we select the sketch. And now OK. And as you can see, now we have this. 
if we go to this first model, we can see that we have the same here. So it's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. And if you want to support the content of this channel, there's a link in the description of this video to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.